Hillary Clinton brags about women marked despite terrible record on women rights, when a social phenomenon as disgusting as the rampant sexual abuse epidemic permeates all sectors of society, it is counterproductive to politicize a recurring tragedy and assign responsibility where it does not exist yet. This is precisely what twice-failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton did when she asked galvanized voters taking part in Saturday multi-city women march to take their anger and resentment to the voting booth this year. Me Too matriarch The sexual mistreatment that many women have endured for much of history transcends party, race, and class. To be fair, Republicans also have a role in this gross injustice that requires as much self-evaluation or corrective action as anywhere else. For Clinton to ignore not just her own party role in this horrendous state of affairs, but her own husband's horrible behavior, is the height of hypocrisy. However, in a shameful tweet, Clinton asked women everywhere to forget that Hollywood and Democrat politicians have played a disproportionate and disgusting part in the sexual abuse of women. And to do so on Saturday, as millions of women marched in capitals around the world in search of dignity, respect, and equality is grossly inappropriate. Enabler wife Clinton attempted to tap into the same activism that the Me Too sexual justice movement awakened in Americans from all walks of life. But Clinton failed to realize that the hundreds of thousands of demonstrators who marched in cities like Los Angeles and Chicago did so despite her and others like her. Rather, Many were marching because of the damage done to women's rights by Clinton herself. After all, Clinton stood by her husband and even criticized his accusers as they came forward, one after another over the years, in a mini Me Too that predated the rise of the Internet. Former aides to First Lady Clinton recall how she sought to destroy the sexual harassment claims of one of her husband's accusers while engaging in blackmail to compel others to withdraw their stories of abuse. Clinton is nothing short of a monster to women like Juanita Broderick who accused Clinton's husband of rape in 1999. Pantsuit presidential failure Such remorseless elitism is part of the reason that the former presidential candidate failed to galvanize millennials, Latinas, and non-college-educated white women in 2016. In many ways, Clinton represents the same social class as the dozens of Hollywood moguls who have been exposed in recent months for chronic sexual abuse crimes that could only have persisted so long by a flawed culture of blind acceptance. Many marchers see Clinton as an accessory to sexual villains like Harvey Weinstein, who was a longtime donor to and supporter of Hillary. A New York Times report from December described a complicity machine full of enablers silencers and spies that allowed Weinstein to remain the serial abuser without fear of police action. Clinton was certainly a cog in this machine. Both magazine editor Tina Brown and even actress Leanna Dunham have confessed to warning the Clinton campaign about Weinstein in 2008 and 2016. But these warnings didn't stop the Clintons from taking in large sums from the Weinstein and by boosting his public image through association. The former Secretary of State took part in the process that ensured Weinstein would have no trouble continuing to influence future awestruck victims. Clinton is part of the problem, and any attempts to depict herself as anything else should be exposed, condemned, and ridiculed. With her history, she has no room to talk about women's rights.